Disclaimer. This series is just me talking about my experiences with different roleplay teams I've been a part of. Please don't take the feedback too much to heart. This is just my opinion and my feelings at the time of recording this. Recording with Dr. Meatball in a nutshell. Creator information. Dr. Meatball, or as others call him, Aiden, is a British Minecraft roleplay YouTuber who is most known for his improv under a high school roleplay, which was in first person. I got the opportunity to work with him on one of his now completed roleplays called Realms, which I suggest you watch when you have the time. But recently he started another roleplay that is also a Yandere High School one. The first episode is out now, so go ahead and watch it since this roleplay is mainly referencing this entire video. I suggest checking it out before you watch this video. Now, without further ado, let's go into depth with the roleplay team. The plot. Yandere School in a nutshell. Students who were basically delinquents, killers, or who have had bad or troubled pasts will be sent to this school for about four years in order to be rehabilitated. And if a student does not follow accordingly, they would end up going back to jail or possibly even experience death. And how the first episode played out was Meatball's character, whose name is Haikyuu, attends a school called Neptunium, only to find out that he and a few other students were forced to abide by the school's laws. If they didn't want to face horrible consequences, then they would have to follow. In the episode, they introduce a few of the main characters. Haikyuu forms a bromance with some of the local dudes in really questionable ways. Right, boys, this is it. Oh, I you go first. first. Oh, me? me or... Oh, we both Okay. Were... Okay. Ah. Huh? Uh. Huh? okay, this is it. This is it, Deb. Okay. Look look right. I'll have the first pick. Alright. Demon. Ah! No, um. No. Do you hear? Yes! Ah! We can check on him? I Cut. think we should. Uh. You okay down there, uh, bud? You alright? Ah, uh, the oh, pain! The pain! <laughs> and then the episode pretty much just ends there. The recording phase. Before recordings, Dr. Meatball would explain how the episode and the series would go. We would sometimes set up parts for the map during or before recording, and then we would do the usual improv. While recording, some of the actors would type the most randomest things in the chat while the roleplay is actually happening. And at times, they can be really funny and confusing. Most of the dialogue is vaguely laid out to us for like the role play and then the rest of us we just the rest of the time we just improv the the remaining stuff pros and cons the pros the people ever since i joined the team for realms my first day recording with their with the role play team everyone was pretty nice and i got I got along with the majority of them at the start and I got to warm up to others as the recording sessions would go on and as like new people joined the team. I have a few screenshots from like back um, on my first day with the roleplay team which I saved and like they were just really weird screenshots. Um, the reason for these screenshots is like, since Dr. Meatball would allow us to hang out on the server after we were done, like, doing the recording session, he would just let us, like, chill on the server. And then when we were done messing around on there, we could go offline and the server would just shut itself down. Lucky Meatball was a really nice guy <laughs> to, like, let us on the server, but it was really unnecessary. The opportunities. 
While working on Realms, I was brought on to do a lot of other role plays. Besides Dr. Meatball's Yandere School role play, I was also invited to do a wide variety of RPs created by people who actually worked in the team. Whether it was for voice acting, body acting, or building, they still considered me as a potential asset for their work, which I honored very much. The improv. I love improv. <laughs> if any of you have known me for long enough, I love to go on this one little server called the Mega Realm, and I would go on to like the creative um, world, and then I would like warp to the school, the um, school plot, and I would role play there. I I made a lot of friends that way, and like it was a big help to push me in the direction of doing Minecraft role plays. Even though I'm still quite new to like the voice acting improv, I still find it quite enjoyable. Doing like improv scenes with like a bunch of people I barely knew was like a needed push for me, and I was glad to be a part of something like that. <laughs> Cons Distractions People in the roleplay team would easily get distracted over the, the littlest things. While we're setting up and Meatball tries to explain things to us, we would like 90% of the time like talk over him and he would just like kind of like whimper out and say like whine about how he's being ignored. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's funny. <laughs> Like, sometimes it would take us, like, to 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes for us to do one scene. Um, either us not paying attention, or just screwing up in general. And, like, when, after, like, all of us were get pinged and joined the call, it would take us, like, at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half to start actually doing the recording. Because we needed to wait until, like, people got on. Like, it wasn't that much of a problem for me at the time, but more so for the roleplay director. <laughs> the people. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know I put this in prose, but it, it also makes it into the cons. This is a personal problem with me. Yes, the people are good, don't get me wrong, but others can be irritating. <laughs> I love everyone in the team to pieces, but man, can... Can some of them get on my nerves for the dumbest of reasons? Recording dates. The recording dates were never really set in stone, but only we only did them really when everyone else was free. But the usual time that would be like our recording like times would be on Saturdays, six to six to eight p.m. UK time. How they would announce the recording sessions would be like a day before the actual session to remind everyone that the session would be like the next day. Like people would reply that that same day saying like either they can make it or they can't. And so if any important people can't make it, they would just set the recording dates for a later day or just like set it for like next week <laughs> one time no one could make like um the original session so we had to move it to like the day like later and which that meant for everyone in like the british side like everyone on the other side of the world they had it on they had to record on a sunday and for me i had to record on a monday and <laughs> I was recording before school, um, but the thing is we didn't start until like an hour later and I had to ask my parents to let me stay and finish recording and I basically stayed home the entire day and didn't go to school to record a Minecraft roleplay. It was, it was really, <laughs> really sad to go to my parents and be like, can I? Can I stay home to record a Minecraft roleplay? <laughs> oh. 
Oh god, that that oh that that's that is sad. <laughs> Final thoughts. This team was a delight to work with. I was happy to be invited to join the team when I did, and I still can't help but feel happy to this day. Even if half the time the team wants me to bust a few brain cells. And that being said, go ahead and check out Dr. Meatball's channel, link in the description, as well as the card on the top right um, side of the screen. Thanks for watching, and yeah, this is it. Um, a few bloopers are now coming up, and yeah, they're from the first episode of Yandere School, so once again, check out the main, uh, the original, uh, roleplay on Meatball's channel and uh yeah enjoy these weird bloopers because um i think i heard something about exploding collars and death and uh. that's that's kind of i don't know i think i probably just misheard you right? yes we're gonna give you collars uh, um explode your head that's a big king can't run away what um this is stupid uh oh what is oh this? calm down Calm down. Uh, if what you the... wanna leave, you can leave. Oh. Leave me. Wait, where is he going? Um. Oh, ah! The clues are my hands. Um. Why is it? Oh no! Oh. Cut! 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 Mickey. Really? Did that. Did that. <laughs> my ear. That. My ear. So, slight change in plans. What's gonna be happening in the episode is while well, some of the girls are sh well, like yeah, some of the girls are showering. We think it's a good idea to sneak through some like ventilation shafts, and we decide to then look and then one of us fall through um like the vent and then like um they yeah they they they, 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 they get like beaten half to death they get beaten half to death okay. and then um oh, oh, we all just, we all I'm absolutely i'm nominating meatball for this yes <laughs> yeah 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 all right, all right um <laughs> it's just a joke you guys just want this can someone oh, oh. can so one of the can someone um go into a girl skin I mean, that's basically the recording session. Thank you for showing up. You can leave now, everyone. If you guys can, you guys may leave now. You are feel free to leave. Recording is over now officially. Oh, as well as, can we record the opening very quickly?